Welcome to Simply Sarah. Today on the show, I'm going to show you how to make chicken and dumplings. You're going to need a big kettle, and I have threw some chicken in. I left the skin on. It's a bag of cut up chicken. And cook it, put some water over it, cook it, and it makes your own chicken broth. And cook it till your chicken's done. And now we're going to take it out and take off our skin and shred it. Take off our chicken off a of rubber bone and keep our meat part. But throw away the bones and the skin part and the fat. And see if it's so tender, some of it's just falling right off. So I'm going to pick off all the meat, put it aside, and then we're going to... Remember, throw everything else away, though, like the bone fat. Also, <coughs> tip is you're going to turn off your chicken broth. This is a this is a process when you make chicken and dumplings. You're going to turn off your broth, let it come cool, cool as you can get it, to where it you can start skimming off uh, the fat that rises to the top, and then the bottom you'll have just nothing but, you know good rich chicken broth uh not not a, not a lot of people do that but i do for my preference you can skip that step and what it's going to look type look like the fat that comes off of it i already did that process it'll look similar like white lardy shortening but more mushier so we got our chicken all pulled off our bone and Got it in this bowl, and we're going to set it aside, and we're going to make the dumplings. We got our broth heating up, come back up, and I'm probably going to add a little bit more water to it, and then we're also going to season it before we put our dumplings in. Now we're going to make our dumplings. In a bowl, you need three cups of flour, and I'm using self-rising, and one fourth cup of shortening. We're going to put some salt, white pepper, and probably about a cup of milk. And we're going to mix it all together and make our dough. And we're going, I'm going to do two different styles of dumplings. Um, you're going to need some more extra flour to roll it out. I'm going to do a roll out dumpling. All of it will be roll out dumpling, but I'll save uh, some of the dough and make some drop dumplings so you can see the difference of drop 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 dumplings and rolled out dumplings. I forgot that a lot of people don't know how to cut shortening into flour. You can do it with your hands, a pastry cutter, or a fork, and you're just going to mash the shortening into the flour and make like a little ball like crumbly kind of like sand okay I have one big dough ball and I have it in half because I have a small counter space right here to work with so it's easier for me to roll off if I have two halves do them separately so you just Roll it in the flour and knead a little bit, and we're going to roll it out with a rolling pin, and then we're going to cut it with a pizza wheel. I think it's easier to do a pizza wheel, or you can use a knife, and also remember I left some dough back in the bowl, because I'm going to show you what drop, drop dumplings look like. So let me get this rolled out, and start cutting them, show you how to cut them the next step. Okay, I got it rolled out. Now we're just going to cut some lines and make little dumplings. You want to roll your dough out thin, but not too thin that you know it's see through. You want to have some texture to it because it's going to puff up, anyways. And your lines don't have to be straight. You can tell that I can't cut straight with a hoot. Okay. 
Okay, let me finish cutting and I'll cut the other way and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, we've cut this way long ways and then we're going to cut this way. So you're going to just make little tiny squares of dumplings and some are going to be bigger than the others. But not everything in the world is perfect. If it's perfect, then it's manufactured. It came out of factory, right? Manufactured and pressed. So you're just going to do that to the whole thing. And then do that to the second dough ball. And then we're going to get to dropping the dumplings. Okay, I had to add some a little bit of water to my broth to bring it back up. And you want some space to the top of your kettle. So your dumplings, you know, have somewhere to go as they cook and stuff. But I'm going to season my broth because it has no seasoning whatsoever except for chicken in it. So we're going to salt and pepper, salt and pepper, our kettle to, to whatever taste you want. You want, I want to taste it. I'm going to add some, a little bit of onion powder to, to it. And then I'm going to wait for this to come up to a boil. Then we're going to start dropping our dumplings. We've added our chicken back to our broth. And it's up to a rolling boil. Now we're going to take our dumplings. I'm just going to on a plate. And you're just going to separate them with your fingers and drop them in. Okay, let me finish dropping out all these rolled ones. And then I'll show you the drop dumplings too. Okay, I've got all my drop dumplings in. And you can see that I have a different pot now. I had to switch to a taller pot. You ain't make nothing. You ain't making dumplings like I make when you have the pot start running over. And don't worry about the flour that, you know, was left on the dumplings. This is what you want because it thickens up your gravy and stuff. If you can tell that. Okay, now I told you I was going to show you what drop dumplings look like. And what you're going to take is get you a teaspoon, get you a good amount of it, and drop it in like that in the balls. Make some room for them. Oh. Make some room for them. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of them and then I'll let them cook for a minute. You want the dough to cook in your broth because you don't want it to be left about into a doughy piece of uh, dumpling. So, <clears throat> about 20 to 30 minutes. After you've dropped them all in and they've, you know, picked, then they should be done. Okay, your dumplings are ready. I covered them on with the lid and let them go about 30 minutes. Because I want to make sure my little dough dumplings are good and done and not doughy inside. Okay, I'm going to show you the difference of the... Rolled out dumplings and the snowballed ovens. This is the rolled out, rolled out dumplings. You're going to get small little dumplings like this. Okay, this is the difference between snowballs and that's why, or drop dumplings. Some people call them snowballed ovens. Some people call them drop dumplings. They're going to be big dumplings like this. So, whatever you choose, you want big dumplings or little dumplings, however you like. And the way I'm going to serve mine tonight is um, so with some cornbread, mashed potatoes, I'm going to cut up an onion. And I'm going to pull some coleslaw from the fridge that's been made a couple days ago. 
So there you have it, chicken and dumplings.